Post Falls Police launching a criminal case after investigators determined the wildfire burning in Camilan Park was started by a small campfire. Kyle Simchuk shows us the evidence left behind and explains why the suspect could be on the hook to pay for the firefighting costs. Campfires are not allowed in Camilan Park, but someone decided to have one last week. The Idaho State Fire Marshal's office says this is what caused this. It's really disappointing. It's, I mean, rules are in place for a reason. Amanda Connor lives next to the park. There was like ash getting in my eyes. It's really, really smoky. She and her two kids were forced to evacuate Friday and had to stay with friends. Police finally let them back in late Saturday night. It's such a beautiful area back there. I just hope that it's not ruined because somebody wanted to have a campfire. Until we really know, we're going to treat it like a criminal arson investigation. We're going to treat it like that. Look for witnesses, look for suspects um, and try to figure out what happened, exactly what happened. And once we figure that out, then we'll decide if it is criminal or not. Post Falls Police Captain Mark Brantle is hoping witnesses come forward. He didn't find much evidence at the campfire. And a couple cans uh, that looked like it was like, you know, beans or stew or something of that nature that they cooked on it. And that was it. There was nothing else there. It could turn out to be a very expensive can of beans. Scott Phillips with Idaho Department of Land says firefighting costs could exceed $1 million. The Department of Lands has a statutory obligation to pursue cost recovery on every single negligently started fire. So we are grateful to have Post Falls Police Department taking the lead of the criminal investigation on this. We're hopeful that they're going to identify whoever started it because that will enable the Department of Lands to go after that individual civilly for the cost of suppression, which will be substantial. They better pay for everything instead of our tax dollars because it's not fair for everybody to have to. That's a lot of money for Idaho, for North Idaho to pay. And those poor firefighters. I have a friend that's up the road and she was the one that had her property was on fire. Connor's friend Cheyenne Tate shared these photos with us. She's letting firefighters use her shop as a shelter and even bought them burgers. Tate says she could never truly repay fire crews who tonight are still protecting her property. And the threat was very real. Um, with a fire of that magnitude, it was by grace of God that those homes were spared. In Post Falls, Kyle Simchuk, Crem 2 News.